Uh oh. What am I doing with this sharp knife? Nothing. I'm going to cut up a potato with a butter knife. That's a little bit safer. Now we are going to show you how to create beads out of potatoes. Yes, they are fabulous, you'll see. So the first thing you need to do is cut up a potato. It's not real easy to do with a butter knife, especially if it's a big potato. So you might want to enlist the help of a grown up. But the reason I'm chopping away at my potato, this butter knife, you notice how I get my fingers tucked in so I don't hurt myself, is that it doesn't have to be really even. It doesn't matter at all. I'll explain in a little bit. So I'm only going to do half a potato because I only have one skewer, but you can do more. All right, so I'm going to cut this potato into chunks. You know what it means to dice something and make little cubes out of it. So I'm not going to use this potato. I'm going to set it aside. So now I have a couple of smaller chunks. I think that's probably fine. So now what I'm going to do is chop, chop, chop. You might even be able to break them apart. There's all my potato chunks. One, two, three. I don't know how many I'm going to get. So eh, these are pretty big. I think I'm going to cut them in half again. Because what we're going to do is we're making beads out of them. They're going to shrink a little bit because potatoes are mostly water. And we're going to leave these sit to evaporate. And once all the water evaporates out, you'll have something that looks like a rock. And then we're going to paint them. That's probably a good amount for now. Okay. This is so easy. All you do is set one chunk down, poke your skewer through the middle, and then very carefully slide it down. So you're making little potato shish kebabs here. Now you want to get them close together but not touching because you want air to circulate around them so they dry faster. Again, be careful with that sharp end. I want you to poke it down onto the table or the desk or the floor even, but not your hand. You know, don't hold it and like try to poke it through your with your hand. Go like this. Chop it like that. Looking good? It smells disgusting. But once they dry, they don't smell like anything. And that's it. So cut up your potato, use all the skewers in your kit. If you could make like three or four of these, that would be great. Um, find a place that's maybe sunny and dry, like a window ledge or maybe on top of the refrigerator and just set these. I usually put them in, i use my granddaughter's crayon container here. It's a strawberry basket. I usually find something to like lay them across so that they can be like this way so there's a lot of air circulating. If you have to, you can just leave them sitting like on the surface. It won't do any harm, but they won't dry as fast. And that is it. I will send you another video explaining what we do after they're dry. See you later.